FX35. Satisfaction, our number one goal. Yeah, satisfaction really is their number one goal, yet you want to deliver a car with a warped dashboard. Beautiful. And you're going to see what I mean by that. Because I promised that I was going to show one of these FX35s or 45s with a fucked dash. I'm not going to be able to do a quick tour of this because this one already sold and I don't know for how much. All I can do is just start it up at least very quick and at least show off the defective dash. Here in the southern states, these trucks suffer a huge fucking issue with their dashboard. Just look at this dashboard. It's already bubbling, almost as if it was melting. You can see. You can even jab your nail in it. and It'll actually kind of mold right off, almost as if it was Play-Doh. Up here. <laughs> it's already bubbling, bubbling over there. It was melting. That's funny. It's almost like a zit just waiting to get popped. Almost like you're waiting for pus to just pop right out. Ugh. All around. But um, this is actually a very mild case because I have seen quite a few more of these that this entire section and this entire piece right here all bubbled up. You can see over here on the driver's side has some bubbles right there as well. But it's just funny. I, I just can't wait to find another one of these that's completely fucked. You're going to see. Yeah. Just so that you guys get some insight. This dash is soft to the touch, both sides, but but really, uh, Nissan Infiniti used a very shitty material that just doesn't withstand heat. This is funny. This entire dashboard needs to be replaced. Eh, this one I ran through in its time. Let me give it a quick rev. Oh. That was a 2005 with 75,000 miles.